Hi, this is Dan Collins, Editor-in-Chief of Modern Trader Magazine, coming to you live from the floor of CME Group uh, for Traders Exclusive. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about managed futures. It's uh, an alternative investment strategy using futures that's uh, becoming more popular today. It's been around for a long time, but uh, it's coming around in different names like Crisis Alpha and Risk Management. A report came out last week that the California State Teachers Association was going to make a large allocation, $16 billion, I think, to alternatives. About half of that would go into managed futures. Uh, it's been around for a long time, but what's different and what you'll see in our upcoming July issue, where we're, we're covering it more extensively, <clears throat> is that uh, it, it's going into a broader investment universe. The reason is this investment is being offered in 40 act mutual funds. Uh, this provides a much wider dis distribution network and allows more retail traders or, or pension plans to invest in them. Basically, there's a lot of confusion in the business media about managed futures because they don't quite understand the systematic approach. They love to talk about equity managers who are good stock pickers. The bulk of managed futures is called trend following. So there, even though there's a wide variety within the trend following space, people kind of 60, 70% of managed futures is medium to long-term trend following. And the majority of those are systematic traders, which means they don't have opinions on the market. That, that kills the CNBC guys because they're saying, why are these quantitative hedge funds, which they'll call them, but they're really referring to CTAs, loving bonds or not liking bonds. Fact of the matter is, they don't care. They spot trends, the trend's higher, they'll get in. The, 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 the kind of mantra, the basic mantra is you cut your losses short, you let your winners run. You're diversified across 40, 50, 60 markets. A couple of those markets during the course of the year is gonna have an extended trend. It could be up or down. And you just need a few of those to do well. The great thing about managed futures is it's completely non-correlated to uh, equities and traditional investments. And a lot of studies have shown that it's actually negatively correlated during bad performance periods for equities. Uh, the exciting thing is that you see some people get into this right now. In the past, the problem with managed futures is someone's hot money and someone sees someone doing really, really well. Well, they're trends. They, they do well, a long, strong period is probably gonna be followed by a drawdown. Uh, it's much better if you do your due diligence on the manager and he's proven to be a solid manager over years, is to enter after poor performance period and not a good performance period. Well, uh, equities have been flat, lower, people are still worried about it. Managed Futures had a tremendous run in 08. It had a bad period in, in 09 and basically from 2011 to 2013 was a really rough period. A lot of people blame that on quantitative easing and the risk on risk off nature of markets. But the fact of the matter is it's very positive people are getting into this in uh, what could be a challenging period for equities. We don't know. It's failed for about a year to make a new high, but um, it, it's, it's a good sign that people may be getting into alternatives, not after a great performance period for alternatives, but after uh, a big solid run in equities from the 2009 low up and maybe when they need the diversification right now. Look to Modern Trader, FuturesMag.com to learn more about managed futures and alternatives. This is Dan Collins. Talk to you soon.